Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were uh, heading to Valua, if I remember correctly. Now, the only problem with that is we've got a few little things to finish off first. So, let's actually head back to the front of Valua, because there is a discovery that we can now get. Hopefully it won't take too much time. Actually, one that I didn't realise that I could get now. It was only because of the games librarian uh, that I even know this uh, exists. Well, I mean, I kind of remember it existing, but I was unaware that we could grab it just yet. Only thing is, we now have to go all the way back through there probably going to come into contact with a lot of fights. Ironically, we need to go here now. <laughs> but we can't just go through there. No, that would be too easy. We will be able to, I believe, just not yet. Um, probably should cut this journey out, but hey. That's where we're going. So, I'll catch you guys on the other side. Right, so we're almost back to where we should be. I suppose we can try and grab up some fish on the way. Now, hey, we've got some B-class fish. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, we need to go to the actual main gate. And it's pretty much west of the main gate. It should be just up here. Now, for some reason... This game, there it is, that's what we want. Damn it. For some reason, this game is absolutely deafening in my headset. And I turn my headset almost down to nothing, and it's still absolutely deafening. Pretty sure it never used to be. Right, let's use Lombarda Burst to get rid of these gits. Excellent. That was easy. Right. Let's see how that's going. Ooh, nice. Level up. Yeah, we've got a few levels on the way here, which is to be expected. Now, there she blows. Now, this was a very long trick back, or trip back, I should say, with all of the battles, just to get uh, this one. But it's another one off the list. So, you found Mirage Island. Lately, sailors have been reporting sightings of Sailor's Island floating around mid-ocean. They tried to get close to the island, but to no avail. Theory has it that light reflected off Sailor's Island is creating a mirage of sorts. Ah, interesting. Now, guys, I need to make the long... Well, basically, we need to go there. But we can't just go there. We need to go all the way back round here. Which is going to take, with all the fighting, about 15 minutes. So, <laughs> oh well, that's, that's probably an underestimate. We need to go all the way back round the map. So, I'll see you guys there in a minute. Right, and we are finally back to the North Ocean. Let's start exploring, shall we? We've got a few little things to find around here. I've uh, got to try and remember them all now. So the first one is the Rock's Nest, I believe. So, the nest of the legendary bird, the Rock. A single Rock Egg is large enough to feed a whole town for a full lunar cycle. However, not many people are brave or stupid enough to try and steal an egg from the nest of this giant bird. Yep, seems like a pretty dumb thing to do, to be fair. Uh, also, feeding uh, an entire village for a whole lunar cycle? That's a long time. Is that, do they mean a day or do they mean a month? 28 days. 28 days is a lunar cycle. Um, wouldn't it go moldy in a month? I don't know. Anyway, you have found the Will of the Wisp. I woke up in the middle of the night and saw something glowing out near some unpopulated islands and thought I was just seeing things at first. But then the light started moving around in these weird patterns and a non sailor okay but we're not done yet oh no there's quite a lot of stuff stuffed out here actually now there is another island type thing i believe it's here somewhere 
A little bit further out, perhaps. Somewhere. Damn it. <laughs> Knew that was coming. Ugh, right. Ooh. We got some big boys. Right, fight. And we're just going to go for some Lombarda Burst. That's been getting me through pretty much everything. Um, a couple of people have leveled up. Ica leveled up once. Oh, right. Okay. So that doesn't actually do a lot of damage against these. Curious. Alright, that's fine. We'll just go with the old faithful then. Oh, I also got three moonberries, I believe. And a shit ton of money. Very surprised with how much money we managed to grab ourselves. Uh, oh, Drachma's leveled, which is always nice to see. Hey, Ica's ranked up. Sacrum. Good. Good. Right, let's actually, let's actually have a bit of a look at the map. So we've got a lot of islands here, and there are a good amount of discoveries to be made here. So let's have a quick look here. Um, how much money have we got? We've got 62,000, which is actually quite... Oh, no, that's experience. Where's our money? I think maybe if we go to Vase. No, Vase the Valiant, he's called himself. Right, okay, whatever. Let's... Can we select the actual little Jack? Because we did actually come across a new cannon, didn't we? I thought we did. I can't remember. I guess not. I thought we managed to get something decent. Maybe not. Okay. So, let's have a look. Items. Yeah, we won 99 of all that stuff. How many moonberries did I have? Ah, we found gruel. Ah, we've got five. Okay, we might actually be able to level somebody up then. Let's go for super moves. So we've got five. Do we want to go for... Ah, Fina? I feel like Fina... Fina's move, if I remember correctly, her uh, max level one has a chance of killing... And revives and cures all adverse effects and completely restores all HP of all allies. That's the one I was thinking of. That is... Yes, it's expensive at 18... Uh, spirit points, but it completely restores your team, which is very, very powerful. Anyway, where is this? Where is this last? Called like the circles or something, and I, it's literally here somewhere. I'm sure it is. Maybe you need to fly a little bit higher. Come on, where are you? The magic circles. I actually had some trouble finding this one before. Maybe you're in the wrong area. Let's move on. God damn it. We'll come back to that one. Uh, we've got more of these things. Let's go for... Oh, no. Let's just go for Cutlass Fury. And then have everybody wail on it. Even Cutlass Fury doesn't kill it in one. That's pretty crazy, actually. Dude. Alright, let's go for Cutlass Fury again. I mean, it mostly kills them. Do I want to kind of like mostly kill one, or do I just want... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, that'll work. That wasn't a bad critical hit, actually. That'll work. Hey, there we go. Okay, so what did we get next? Hey, we've got another Zal seed. We'll take it. So there should be some more goodies here. Where are you? There we go. Found the giant's hammer. A strange structure found in the northern regions of Ixitaka. It was named Giant's Hammer for its unusual shape. But there are many local legends that tell of giants, so perhaps the name is not that far from the truth. Hmm. A strange structure. So. Um. Giant structure. So is it a building? I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay. Now, we also have another item over here. 
Damn it. <laughs> but we also have more combat. Glorious combat. Uh, maybe not quite so glorious. All right, let's go for that. And everybody pile on. There we go. That works. Uh, well, unfortunately, they pretty much all ran away because they suck. But that's okay. A little bit of XP. We'll take a little bit of XP. Now, what do we have going on here? Ugh. Seriously. See, I don't want to use the white map or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, the white map, which actually reduces enemy encounter rate. Because I don't want to end up being too weak for the future encounters. Which is a problem that apparently from reading on the forums can actually occur quite easily if you're very reliant on the white map. It's I didn't actually realise how easy it was to become underleveled in this game. Anyway, let's just keep sucking up this experience. Now, what have we got here? Come on. Should be here. Or if it's not. Oh, there's some. Ah, oh, goddammit, there's some fish. God damn it. Let's just. You know what? Let's just go for the Lombarda burst straight off the bat because that damages everything. Even if it only damages things a little bit. The rest of the party can pretty much finish everything else off. Everybody just pile on. Nice. Hey, Fina leveled, which is always nice. See, as much as it's a pain in the ass going around, getting into all these battles, it does serve a purpose. Maybe, just maybe, I'm in the wrong area. So we've got all these islands. Might be back here, actually. Wait one. Ugh. Okay, let's go for... Yeah, you know, do what we did before. Lombarda Burst. That should kill pretty much everything. Yep. Yeah, Mum. Get it done. I was hoping to find all of these in this video. Uh, so, 308 XP. Nice. She's not a million miles away from getting to level 30. There's some goodies there. I'm sure the giant... Maybe not. I'm sure the giant was on that. But maybe not. Maybe he's over on this one. Perhaps. Yeah, we've got an enemy battleship there, but we're not going to worry about him too much. Yeah, there, there it is. The giant throne. An enormous rock formation that looks like a rocking chair. The claw marks on its surface have given rise to many stories. Some speak of a giant green creature that once perched here, or of a fairy or a hairy beast that was lulled to sleep by the rocking motion. I wonder if that giant green creature was Grendel. Who knows? I don't. Anyway, let's keep going. Now, where was that last... That last discovery of this area. I know it's here somewhere. Come on, let's get it done. Tempted to skip ahead. Ah, oh, such a cool power that. Is it inconsistent in its damage or I'm not sure. Oh, slumber dust. That's not fantastic. Right, so everybody except Vase has been put to sleep. Wonderful. Cutlass Fury. Well, that's fine. That works. Okay, so another 400 XP. And another Zul Seed. Okay, not bad. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Might actually be down here, perhaps. No. Alright, 
One second. Okay, <clears throat> and we're back. That literally took me about 50, 52 minutes to find. This one is absolutely ridiculously difficult to find. <clears throat> Uh, I used the assistance of one video walkthrough <laughs> and two guides to find this. And in the end, I couldn't find it using either. So uh, <laughs> I found an image on Google, which helped. But here we go. You have found the mysterious rings. So huge geometr geometric shapes that mysteriously appear on ground overnight. Hmm. Interesting. Reports have been very frequent lately. Old records speak of a similar phenomenon and mention two or three glowing balls of light that appear in the night before the shapes are found. Interesting. So, I'm guessing they're made by the Will-O-Wisps. Anywho, let's get out of here. After some more glorious combat, of course. Oh, oh, yeah, and because <laughs> that took so long, we've nearly gone up two levels. So, yeah, two levels of just fighting. Uh, I think that was the... Well, there's no I think about it. That was the biggest trouble uh, of finding that thing. Every few seconds, you just had a random battle, which took ages to fight. So the actual amount of time spent exploring that was only about ten minutes. But most of it, yes, was... Uh, see what I mean? Like, instantly. Like, as soon as one battle's finished, straight into the next. Uh, right, okay. And like I say, I really don't want to risk being underleveled, so we're going to fight as many of these as possible. When I was completely cutting out some of the battles, uh, previously, a half an hour video was taking... Um sometimes over an hour I think as I've said before actually let's get everybody healed up as I said before my biggest criticism for this game is just the sheer amount of random battles it's it's way over top I mean it doesn't ruin the game far from it this game is still you know absolute barrels of fun uh, and I you know it's easily one of the best RPGs ever made in my opinion uh, it's just yeah they went way overboard with it I mean they, they kind of admitted it as much themselves when they uh, re drastically reduced the amount of battles in this version of the game compared to the Dreamcast the Dreamcast was just insanity and the trouble with it is you did have to fight them you needed the experience whereas in this version you actually get less battles apparently but you get more experience per battle and I think more I think one of the biggest troubles isn't necessarily how frequent the battles are which yeah obviously is a problem but it's just how long the battles are as well they are very very long especially the ship to ship combat my god, that can drag. But luckily, <laughs> in fact, that is the reason we went over to using emulators. So we can speed up a bit. Looks like we've reached value in airspace. So this is where the yellow crystal was hidden, right? Yes, it is sealed somewhere in these islands, along with the yellow uh, gigas. Considering how much trouble we've caused the Valuans already, we should be extra careful, right, Captain? Captain, what's wrong? Uh, uh, um, nothing. Uh, sorry, were you saying something? Nothing really. I was. It wasn't anything important. <clears throat> hmm, what's up with Drachma? Hmm. Well, I'm sure we're going to find out soon enough. Anyway, now we have the Lighthouse Ruins.
Lighthouse Ruins, originally an ancient ruin, it was converted into a lighthouse to guide the Valuan ships returning from the north. But as the centre of the Valuan culture shifted to the south, the once great lighthouse faded from people's memories. Okay, and we have another thing to find, but this one's going to take a little bit of exploring. Anyway, so here we are, into the Valuan wastes. I kind of really like this part of the map as well, because it just shows how eerie this this Valuan place is. And it's so pitted with craters, and ugh, you just know some serious shit went down in the before times. And um, we have some new enemies, but they're just like the puffball guys, really. How much money do we have now? Quite a lot. Quite a lot, I'd wager. So, let's continue exploring. There's uh, enemy ships here, I think. Can I actually talk to any of these? Yeah, you look like a civilian. I don't think I've ever seen a ship like that around here before. I'll bet it's a moonstone trader coming to dig up yellow moonstones. Just so you know, the moonstones in this area have already been mined, so there's hardly any left. Value is trying to expand because we need to find new sources of moonstones as soon as possible. Ah, so that is an uh, interesting bit of information now, isn't it? Right, let's check the map. So we've got another discovery, but it's about here. Kind of difficult to find as well. Now, I don't... Th think we as I say I don't think we actually run into too many enemies around here but of course I am wrong oh look at these things okay let's go for some cutlass fury because we want to kill these loopers or whatever the fuck they're called a little bit something like that hopefully they're not going to run away because we want all that money yo Yeah, right, okay, so... Base. Get some more Cutlass Fury going, kill it. Everyone else, pile on. As usual. Standard. Nice! That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Okay. Hey, look at that. That was a humongous chunk of gold. Oh, this is what we were looking for. The ancient palace. Not bad. A beautiful old castle that stands near a lake in central Valua. Local legends of evil wizards and mysterious disappearances were uh, were revived when various uh, potions and torture devices were discovered in the dungeons beneath the castle. Okay, well that's really freaking ominous, isn't it? Right, so, I believe we're now up to date with everything. Now, let's go into the heart of Valuar. Or, I don't think that's actually where we're heading just yet. We're, I believe, going to have a little look down here first. Ooh. Right, what have we got this time? Oh, lovely. We have a flying scorpion. Now that's delicious. And let's get some Lumbanda Burst going. Let's clear these stains from our hull. Oh, nice. I love it when they try and run away and they miss. Makes me laugh. Keeps me warm inside, you know? Arika's about to level up. Crystallium was learned. Okay. I'm still learning spells, which is good. Alright, so the Moor of Tartus. Have a little look around here, shall we? Ooh. There was some funky voodoo happening down here. That chunk of metal is huge. Beneath it is the Moor of Tartus. It is an entrance to a series of caverns. These caverns are the resting place of the yellow crystal as well as the yellow gigas. This seal was built by my people after the rains of destruction in order to contain the yellow gigas. Now the yellow gigas lies dormant. 
good. Keep that thing locked up. Well, I know that means the Gigas can't get out, but it also means that we can't get in. Hmm, I don't think there's any way we can get through the seal. What should we do? Hey, don't move. Uh-oh. The punishment for trespassing near the Great Seal is death. Uh-oh. We gone and done it. Well, it looks like these goons discovered us out of nowhere. Enforcers, huh? Well, let's see how they like a little bit of this. Let's go. I don't think these guys are anything special. Nah. They're nothing. But I don't know how many there are. Yeah, that did a reasonable amount of damage on them. Reasonable. All grenade. Ah, okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Well, Drachma just took a grenade to the arse and survived. What a guy. What a guy. Ooh, nasty. Although, for a critical hit, that wasn't really that bad, was it? You know what? Go for another Lombarda Burst. Keep that shit going. Lovely. Should be able to finish the last two off. Nice. Oh, critical. Not bad, Fina. Not bad. I'll take it. We did. We did it. Absolutely. Right. Decent amount of gold as well. Ike levels up. Sweet. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Beg for your life, worm. We, we surrender. Please don't kill us. Tell us how to open the seal and we let you live. Look at Ika's eyes. Uh, that's impossible. Our entire army can open it. Uh, our commanders aren't too concerned with the yellow crystal right now because it's already invaluable and it's safe from you. Hmm. That makes sense. They'd go after the other crystals first. Something's not right. You'd think this area would be more heavily guarded. Where are the rest of your men? They're preparing for the raid on Nisrad. What? Value is going to start a war with Nisar? I, I think so. I'm just a grunt. I don't know any of the details. And there was a giant arc whale. It destroyed a few of our ships recently. One of our admirals is hunting it. A giant arc whale? Rackman is here. Answer me. I, I don't know for certain. Some fog rolled in yesterday. And there were sightings of a huge creature. That means it's probably still in the area. I have to go after Rachnam. I've been following you kids around looking for the crystal all this time, but now it's your turn to follow me. <sighs> oh, I'm not sure what we say here. Uh, one second. I'm pretty sure we say we understand. We'll go with you. Pretty sure. Yep. That's the one. Well, it doesn't look like we've been able to get to the yellow crystal anytime soon. Okay, Drachma, we'll go with you. Very well. Now, the time has come for me to finally face Rachnan. He was the reason that I got the harpoon cannon in the first place. I'm going to kill him or die trying. Oof, okay. Anyway, we have... We have another cham. Hey, oh no, we found a chom. Okay, cool. It's fine. I can't remember how many choms there actually are. I've got a feeling there's three. Now, hey, another chom. Now, are those choms all here? Found two. Just curious. I'm sure there's three. But like I said, I could be wrong. I've definitely been wrong before. And I'll definitely be wrong again. But that does look like that. Oh. Hello. Where is it? Where is it? Or is there more than... I could it be more, actually. 
Come on. Come on, you little bastard. Where's your chum? He's got to be up here. Come on. I wonder if we can't get it yet. Right, this is close. Apparently. Maybe not close enough, though. Come on. No, it's got to be back there. Stay here a while longer. I want my chom. Now, the choms aren't, like, super uber um, important. I mean, they are if we want to get the ultimate weapon for Cupel. I'm wondering if we can't quite get it yet. Maybe something has to happen. I mean, it's not making a lot of sense. I can't move the map either. Can't go into first person either. Ah, there we go. Just like the tiniest little nook in the map. Hey, there we go. I thought there was three chums. And I have a feeling somewhere you can buy them as well. But I could be wrong about that as well. I mean, fuck it, why not? I'm wrong about most things, so. Okay. Back on board. We'll need to rest up before we attack Rackdam. There's always a thick fog surrounding him. He knocks ships out of the sky, and they never see him coming. We'll hide in this canyon and ambush him at the first sign of fog. Tonight we sleep here. Drop anchor, boy. Later that night, my heart was racing with excitement. I was too anxious to even get a wink of sleep. Ragnam is nearby. That's all I could think as I lie there trying to sleep. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any shut eye. Maybe I'll take a walk around and try and calm myself down. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. But anyway, guys, unfortunately, we are out of time. So I'm going to save it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, well, I guess we're going to hunt ourselves an arc whale. Why not, right? So till then, guys. Thank you.